been the best year of, of my career. It's just been, um, I, you know, it's been more than a dream come true because everybody, it, it, you know, it's like, uh, it's like watching friends where you say like, are they friends in real life? It's like watching community, like we are a community. We're really good friends and, and you know, and, and doing, and doing a show, you know, for any amount of time, you know, like 20, I think 25 episodes they've done in total is, I mean, for, for us to be even closer now, you know, we're definitely a family and it's just, uh, it's, it's a little, for me personally, it's a little bittersweet because I, I really, uh, you know, I, I want to keep going, you know, I want to keep doing it. I'm just getting into the groove now, you know, with my character and the show and I, I just feel like I'm getting better as an actor and I'm really getting my character more. and. So for me, I, I just, uh, I'm, you know, it's so cool where at the end of the season, you just want to do more as opposed to like, oh, I don't want to do anymore. You know, so it's so cool like to have that enthusiasm. You're, you're kind of leaving th this season on top and the next season, we're just going to go in refreshed and, and, and better than ever. It's just going to be even better. So I just feel like this year is, you know, we're cutting our teeth and we're just kind of doing it. And it's been like amazingly funny and then, I think next year will be even better. In all seriousness, one of the great things that um, I've discovered, like particularly about Joe McHale, you know, he he's a great actor. He is he's made me a better actor. The majority of my the majority of my scenes, my favorite scenes of the year, have been with Joe because they're one on one scenes. They're um, unexpected, some nice, sincere, dramatic moments have come out of those scenes like even deeper than than I expected that we would go and 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 um, what what's great about Joel McHale because everyone knows him from from the soup and, and and he's just so immensely popular on an, you know yet another show is uh, I don't think people realize what a what an amazing actor he is he has an MFA he you know he's he's just he's great he's just one of the coolest guys to work with and he's become a great friend and uh, another surprise I just think people what what I love about this show is um, Everybody in this cast could headline their own sitcom. You know, there is no weak link in this show. Like Donna Glover, Danny Pudi, Allison Brie, Chevy Chase, Gillian Jacobs, Vet Nicole Prown, Joel. I mean, they could, we could all headline our own eight different shows, you know, but the fact that I, I, I'm biased, of course, but I really believe that our cast um, per pound is like the most talented cast up top to bottom. I, I really would. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I I'm, I'm really believe that. And, uh, and Donna Glover is an amazing improviser. I didn't really know him prior to that. He had actually written for 30 Rock prior to that. And what I didn't realize, he's not only a great actor, he's a great writer, he's a great stand-up. He, he's a great rapper. I mean, you know, he's amazing. He just does everything, you know, except medicine, which is what I did, because I'm kind of a doctor, which kind of trumps everything, but whatever. I mean, he's second best. Chevy Chase, I didn't realize is so old. Um, he is 196 years old, which is amazing. And um, I don't know if I can say this on the record. Um, he he is a Highlander, and um, you know he um, he goes around thinking he's a Highlander, but then I realize he's just a drunk who wears a cape, you know. But um, uh, Yvette Nicole Brown, just great. I mean, what I love about Yvette Nicole Brown. Um, as Shirley, uh, she uh, she comes at you funny from two different angles. She has two different voices, which is great. I mean, distinct comedy voices, you know, coming from comedy where she's just like, um, oh, that's nice. She has that. It's so funny. And then she go, she can within a snap, she goes, oh, that's nice. You better not be talking about Monday. I mean, you know, she just has that thing. It just she makes me laugh so hard. You know, the more and more I see her. And Allison Brie, it's just. Phenomenal. She's also in Mad Men. You just got an amazing cast. Danny Pudi, who's Abed, who's like kind of the cult hero of the show. Like my favorite guy. Yeah, he's just he's amazing. He's everybody's favorite guy on the show. So just big fans of everybody. Yeah, there are changes in store for really the entire cast. So the last two episodes of the season, um, I really just any f fans of the show you guys will go nuts because I go nuts just think I got I get goosebumps just thinking about uh, season finale and 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 in addition senior Chang has some uh, has some really interesting stuff that's gonna happen to him and it's it's gonna be great it's just some of the 
some of my favorite stuff uh, that we've done in the whole season have, have been in those last two episodes. It's, it's just chock full of goodness that, I mean, I can't wait to watch it in its final presentation because I think, I think it's just going to look really good. And it's just, yeah, I, I really get, I kind of got goosebumps talking about it because, I mean, and that's the cool thing about the show because at the end of the day, I'm working on a show that I, w I would watch anyway, even if I wasn't on it. The last few episodes are really great. I just, you know, <laughs> you know, it's just like, you know, like <laughs> a lot of stuff are in store. <laughs> Give me some more time and